Yeah, it is a very big week. Um, we're at the point in our season where it's kind of do or die, and we got to continue to to take care of business on the court. And so, um, you know, Arkansas Fort Smith is going to be a great great game. They're um, you know in the mix, fighting for a spot for conference tournament. They are um, just watching film on them. They they're scrappy and they get after it. And we're gonna have to play well. And you're in their gym. Um, we know what that's like. So. Uh, that'll be the start, and then back at home for our last two games, St. Edwards and St. Mary's, and they're both um, going to be great games. So, again, we're going to have to take care of business on our side for sure. I know you said this week that you just kind of gave your team completely off, away from volleyball, mentally and physically for a couple days. How important do you feel like that was at this point in the season? Uh, I think it's huge. We've had a brutal schedule. It's been a tough one, and I think that they needed just a break from volleyball for a little bit. And I expect fully expect them to come back just even more hungry. Um, a lot of people got to go home. A lot of people just rested. Some people had some fun. You know, it, it, it was definitely needed, and I expect them to have a great week coming out of that. Before that break, your team playing as good as probably any team in the conference. Uh, three straight, three and O sweeps. Offense finally started clicking defensively. Uh, Savannah Guzman is playing maybe the best volleyball of her career right now. Uh, what what are going to be some things this week that you need to adjust or continue to improve on with three games this week? I just think our consistency, that's been a big theme the last several weeks. Um, just everybody showing up at the same time, that's really important. Um, you know, our girls are... They're, they're playing really, really well together right now, and we have to remember how important that is. We've set some goals as far as our hitting percentage and, um, you know, just defensively and blocking, and I think they're really buying into that and knowing um, when we're all clicking offensively what a great team we can be. And so um, just continuing to be consistent, that's the important part for us. This week, senior weekend on your home floor. You have some seniors who have had an extended career, if you will, with uh, the extra year because of COVID. Um, but some seniors that have really meant a lot to the program, and I know a lot to you personally. Uh, how sad is that going to be to see them playing their final game inside the HPC this weekend? Yeah, I mean, we've had a couple um, senior nights that have been really tough for us over the years. You know, it's never easy to lose kids that have been with you for a long time, ever. Um, but this is a big group um, that has impacted our program in this Division II realm, and They've done some really great things for our program. They've helped us just gain the confidence, um, lead the team, set the standards. They've done so much for our, our team, for sure. It's going to be a sad night. Um, you know, we're, we're close with this group. When you get five years with kids, um, you know, it's hard not to be close with them at the end. And so um, I think it's going to be a tough one for our team, our program, and for us as coaches. You have a big core of freshmen and newcomers that haven't seen much playing time this year, but they undoubtedly are learning. Um, throughout watching these older players that have had success. How much of an impact have they not only had, the seniors not only had with you, but also just the underclassmen and the players that are the future of the program? Well, I think that they've done a really good job of just including them right away to make them feel apart, um, and that helps them to get comfortable right away. But just leaning by example and the way that they're playing and the way that they're holding the standards. And, you know, although they're, every season there's some bumps in the road, they've done a good job of, like, responding and continuing to lead. And so I hope these are things that our freshmen have seen and will learn from um, because we do have some really impactful freshmen that, although they are not seeing a lot of court time, they are getting better as we we've been through this season um, just in our practices we're seeing so much improvement so I'm excited to see what they are able to do for our program.